Fan Hua. Let you be the gatekeeper and become the richest person. Introduction www.zhaoshuyuan.com After watching the popular TV drama, Fan Hua, due to the difficulty of calming down, Lu Yu, who lives in modern society, has become the lowest level character in Fan Hua. Xiao Mao, the founder of Baozong. The fate of Xiao Mao in the original work is full of tragic colors. After being laid off from a state-owned enterprise, he became a factory guard. He was abandoned and socially excluded in his life https forward slash forward slash www.zayashuan.com Chapter 1 Saving Little Ningbo You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Shanghai stock market in 1988 was like the surging waves on the Huangpu River. Ten years of reform have confirmed that development is the hard truth. The market economy is changing people's way of life, and diligence is the foundation of this land. Everyone is adding bricks and tiles to the progress of society, becoming the paving stone of the market. New Year's January Xiao Mao, help sister get a soap box. Inside the second floor of the Dazi Mingzhong Alley on Changshou Road in the west of Shanghai. The cold wind outside is piercing, but inside the small room, it is filled with the warm aroma of soapy water and women, steaming in the hot rain and shrouded in mist. Yin Feng Sister After Lu Yu opened his eyes and looked at the young woman Yin Feng inside the plastic cloth in front of him, his expression shook and he couldn't help but be startled. Surprisingly, I have traveled to the world of flowers and become one of the characters in it, Xiao Mao, who is also one of the founders of Mr. Bao. Xiao Mao, what's wrong? It's not important, it's not important. Yin Feng was enthusiastic. Sister Yin Feng, I should go to work now. However, Lu Yu was scared and ran away. Xiao Mao, it's okay, it's okay. Inside the cabin, a sorrowful silver phoenix remained. In the novel The Flowers, Xiao Mao comes from a family of workers in the 8th factory of Shanghai Iron and Steel Works and lives on the top floor of a three-story pavilion on Shikong Road in the Dazi Mingzhong area of Changshou Road. The ground floor is a barber shop, and the second floor is home to Sailor Hyde and his wife Yin Feng. This Hyde is always away from the ship, and Silver Phoenix can't help but lure Little Mao. In Yin Feng, this is normal desire, but in Xiao Mao, it is enlightenment. Later, their affair was monitored and recorded by an elderly man from the second floor neighbor who had attempted to seduce Yin Feng, and later informed Yin Feng's husband. Shortly after, under the arrangement of Xiao Mao's mother, Xiao Mao was forced to marry the widow Chunxiang, and the Silver Phoenix family moved away, so the matter came to an end. Xiao Mao used to learn and practice Shirdan martial arts. He, along with Abao and Hu Sheng, were cross-class brothers, but they left without saying goodbye after getting married. Fortunately, Chuanxiang is a good woman who genuinely takes care of Xiao Mao, but unfortunately, she passed away early due to difficult childbirth. Later on, Xiao Mao also had to fake marriage with the pretentious Miss Wang. Miss Wang, while having an outing dinner party, secretly planted fruits with a Mr. Su during the day, causing a series of controversies. In the end, she fell seriously ill and passed away at an early age. Of course, all of these are afterwards. It hasn't happened yet, and the current Lu Yu still has time to change his, Xiao Mao, fate. After coming out of the Silver Phoenix room, Lu Yu didn't go back to his attic on the third floor and went to the alley to breathe. It is January 1988, which is the winter season in Jiangnan. In the alley at night, scattered snowflakes fall from the sky, sometimes mixed with drizzle. In the wet and rainy weather, the Shanghai opera melodies floating out of the radio are misty on the top of black tiled houses. You rely on me, but there are many despicable emotions. Before arriving at Fanhua, Lu Yu was originally a young social animal living in the modern magic city of 2024. After watching The Flowers, Lu Yu felt some regret and frustration towards the character Xiao Mao in it. In the original work, the Xiao Mao family is kind, honest, and upright, but Xiao Mao's fate is full of tragic colors. In his life, 
he is abandoned by the rolling tide of the times and marginalized by society, making him a hard-working grassroots. Before his death, he did not choose to leave any benefits for himself, but chose to completely empty it. This kind of abandonment is a helplessness towards oneself for a lifetime, and also a ruthlessness towards this world. Lu Yu didn't expect that in just one thought, he would cross into the drama and turn into Xiao Mao. The current Xiao Mao used to be a fitter at the state.owned clock factory in Magic City. After being laid off after the state, Owned enterprise reform last year, he was introduced by his mother and friend and became a temporary guard at a factory on Changshou Road. Today is the first time that the neighbor on the second floor, a beautiful young woman named Yin Feng, has tried to seduce Xiao Mao into losing her virginity. The next morning, at number 27 Zhongshan East Road on the Bund, the foreign trade building. Lu Yu guarded downstairs early. This foreign trade building used to be the Jardine Matheson Building, once known as the King of Foreign Companies, on the Shanghai Bund. The entire building adopts a retro architectural style, grand and rustic. This building is now the office location of the Mordo State-owned foreign trade system, hence it is also known as the Foreign Trade Building. Miss Wong works at the Magic City branch of the National Textile Import and Export Corporation, where she works. At around 9 o'clock, with a bang, a Jinhua ham flew out of the window of the foreign trade building. Subsequently, in the bustling lobby of the foreign trade building, a middle-aged man wearing a black coat ran out, followed by Mr. Bao and others. This year, Mr. Bao obtained his first foreign trade trial order through his brother in Hong Kong. According to current regulations, foreign trade must pass through the foreign trade headquarters located at 27 Bund which is the foreign trade building. I don't want to live anymore, I want to jump into the Huangpu River. The middle-aged man in a black coat who was shouting loudly was Xiao Ningbo, the director of Ningbo Knitting Factory. This, little Ningbo, is actually not small, he is a middle-aged man, his real name is Qian Qingxiang. There is a saying that when you go to the Shanghai Stock Exchange, if you are not a local, then you are a rural resident. Shanghai residents are born with a sense of superiority. In the eyes of people in Shanghai today, even Suzhou is considered a rural area. There is a sense of pride in the bones of Shanghai people. Ningbo's geographical location is relatively close to Shanghai, and there are certain similarities in culture, customs, and other aspects. However, the city size cannot be compared to that of Shanghai, so it is jokingly called Little Ningbo. This, little Ningbo, has a factory with a production capacity of 300 people, but cannot obtain orders, and the factory is facing bankruptcy, which is why they are so anxious. In the early morning, he picked up a piece of Jinhua ham and ran excitedly to the foreign trade building in the Magic City to ask for an order from the textile department leader of the foreign trade company, but he didn't expect to be shut down. Soon, in the blink of an eye, the discouraged little Ningbo ran to the garden bridge of Shanghai. Friend, don't be impulsive. Mr. Bao advised. Don't come over, I'm going to jump into the Huangpu River now. Friend, this is Suzhou River, not Huangpu River. What are you doing? Okay, 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 Suzhou River, I'm here. Little Ningbo, with red eyes, glanced at Miss Wang and Director Jean of the Foreign Trade Corporation among the crowd, and jumped into the Suzhou River with a sudden, plop. The place hasn't been refreshed yet, it's so cool. Mr. Bao was shocked. Just wanted to jump down and save someone. Suddenly, with a splash, another figure had already jumped into the river before him. The young man who jumped down from behind had excellent water skills, and with a few jumps, he pulled little Ningbo onto the shore. Xiao Mao, it turned out to be known. After seeing the appearance of the young man who was rescuing him in the water, Mr. Bao was so surprised that he couldn't speak. It turned out to be his own hair, Xiao Mao. During his student days, a Bao met Hu Sheng and Xiao Mao while queuing up at the Guatai Cinema to buy tickets. Xiao Mao is a child from a working dot class family. He is righteous and straightforward, loves to read martial arts novels, and even enrolled in martial arts classes. 
he became acquainted at first sight with a bail from a merchant family and Shanghai students from a military cadre family. On Xiaomao's birthday, Hu Sheng and Abao held a celebration party for him, and also invited girls such as Xu Hua and Betty to come and participate. Five people sat together blowing candles and eating cake, having a great time. Excited and moved, Xiao Mao proposed on the spot to become siblings with different surnames and never part ways for a lifetime. Although there was no grand ceremony for the worship ceremony that day, they have become a small group with close contact since then. However, this genuine and sincere friendship only lasted for a few short years. Later, in the turbulent era, the five of them encountered hardships such as family decline and leaving their hometowns one after another, so you all know each other. Little Ningbo was also surprised. He grew up by the seaside and has good water skills. Jumping into the Huangpu River was also a last resort. Originally, he was trying to intimidate Miss Wang and the leaders of the foreign trade headquarters, such as Director Jean, but when he became anxious, he jumped into the Suzhou River. After seeing that Xiao Ningbo was rescued safely, Miss Wang and Chief Jean, among others, dispersed in unison. Director Qian, don't jump into the river impulsively next time, after all, there are still 300 employees waiting for you to support. So, I have a $5 million order on hand, do you want it? Mr. Bao extended five fingers. Of course. If you want to talk a bit more refreshing, it's 5 million yuan, said Qian Xingxiang, a surprised little Ningbo. Yes, in US dollars. Five million dollars. Five million dollars. Qian Xingxiang couldn't believe his ears. That's right, five million dollars. Oh my goodness, it seems that I made the right choice to jump into the Huangpu River today. Qian Xingxiang was overjoyed. Let's go, Mr. Qian. Let's go drink and warm up on Huanghe Road together. That night, the Jean Miling Hotel on the Yellow River Road was filled with toasts, and everyone's feelings deepened. Qian Xingxiang feels more like a dying brother towards Lu Yu. Brother Xiao Mao, the kindness of saving lives is unforgettable. If you encounter any difficulties on your next trip, be sure to come to Ningbo to find me. All right, Mr. Qian, definitely. Lu Yu took the business card handed over by Qian Xingxiang. Thinking to myself, when the time comes, I will naturally go there to talk to you about business. Bian Shang Bao smiled but remained silent. In his impression, his childhood friend Mao was naturally kind, but had a strong self-esteem. He had wanted to help Mao several times, but was politely rejected by Mao. He would rather be laid off as a factory guard. Chapter 2 The Wealth Code of 88 Years You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The next day, Lu Yu, Mr. Bao, Qian Xingxiang, and three others went to the Foreign Trade Building to ask Miss Wang for approval of the Foreign Trade Order, claiming that there were still 300 employees waiting to receive their salaries for the Chinese New Year. Miss Wang is very difficult. But with a lot of commotion between Xiao Ningbo and Lu Yu selling inventory tea dot shirts in the office hallway, Section Chief Jinhua was willing to let the three of them in for a conversation. Chief Jin was picky about the quality of the goods made by Xiao Ningbo. Qian Xingxiang promised to purchase a batch of imported machines and also took out a request letter from the factory employees with full fingerprints. However, Chief Jin felt that there was a great risk in Hong Kong. Upon hearing this, Mr. Bao took out the official documents from Hong Kong and stated that he had taken precautions and had prepared all the necessary materials for approval. Without finding any flaws, Chief Jin agreed to the approval of General Manager Bao and Qian Xingxiang for this foreign trade order. After leaving the foreign trade building, the three brothers Lu Yu, A Bao, and Xiao Ningbo were very happy. For them today, their goals are never far away, step by step day by day, just give it their all, and the rest is up to time. The success of today's trial order has solved the urgent needs of more than 300 people in the small Ningbo factory, and has also enabled the Bao to successfully open the door to foreign trade business, laying the foundation for his revolutionary friendship with Miss Wang. 
In the Spring Festival Gala of 1988, the veteran artist Sun Daolin made a brilliant appearance as the host. The song of the new year sounded, counting back to the glorious end of the 1980s. In the 1990s, he was about to make a brilliant debut. This year, Nyochuan's cross.talk show, Clever Names, made the audience remember a line. Leader, colon. Lu Yu will also start his brand new life. In the blink of an eye, it's late spring in April on Thursday morning, April 21st, Lu Yu arrived at the duty room of Dehua Hardware Products Company on Changshou Road to work. At present, there is no internet. What Lu Yu likes most is to get all kinds of information through newspapers from all over the country and study the way to make a fortune. There was a news on the front page of today's Liberation Daily that couldn't help but brighten his eyes. Notice of the People's Bank of China and the Ministry of Finance on forwarding the request report on the pilot implementation plan for opening up the Treasury bond transfer market and the approval of the State Council The report states that the first batch of pilot cities will select seven cities. Shenyang, Shanghai, Chongqing, Wuhan, Guangzhou, Harbin, and Shenzhen. The initial opening time for the first batch is set for early April 1988. On the basis of summarizing the experience of the first batch of pilot cities, it is planned to launch treasury bond transfer business in the second batch of large and medium-sized cities in early May 1988, gradually promoting it nationwide. At the same time, actively research the listing issue of treasury bonds issued to enterprises and institutions. The first batch of treasury bonds allowed for listing are limited to those issued to individuals in 1985 and 1986. Allow the holders of the above dot mentioned treasury bonds to freely sell them for an unlimited amount. Individuals, insurance companies, other non-bank financial institutions, and various approved foundation organizations are allowed to purchase the above dot mentioned treasury bonds in an unlimited amount, but individual purchases should be given priority after carefully reading this news from beginning to end, Lu Yu was overjoyed. The central bank is about to open up treasury bond trading, allowing individuals to buy and sell treasury bonds issued by the country. In the news, there was also a statement from a journalist interviewed by the central luggage governor. The state agrees that citizens within China can freely trade treasury bills. President Li stated in the newspaper that from now on, the state council will allow citizens within the country to freely buy and sell treasury bills, and treasury bills will be traded above ground instead of underground. Lu Yu studied electronic engineering as an undergraduate. After graduation, he went to an investment company to do industrial research. He invested in buying and selling stocks and treasury bond bonds, and had a better understanding of the history of treasury bonds. For people today in 1988, the free trading of treasury bills was unprecedented. Although China had issued treasury bonds as early as 1981, they could not be freely traded before 1988. Therefore, most of the treasury bills in trade can only be traded underground without government regulation, making the safety market value fluctuations of treasury bills unpredictable and chaotic, making it difficult for both individuals and countries to benefit from it. Although today's newspaper only published a simple sentence, even those who are concerned about national policies would only exclaim, finally, I can buy treasury bonds. But for Lu Yu, this sentence seems to be a wealth code, allowing him to see a continuous stream of wealth. It seems like he has opened a golden treasury in front of him. Before his rebirth, Lu Yu read a news article that stated that in the 1980s, treasury bonds could not be circulated and could only be redeemed upon maturity. So the prices of privately traded treasury bonds in the private sector are very low, such as the 5-year treasury bond issued in 1984 with an annual interest rate of 10%. By 1985, the selling price of a 100 yuan face value treasury bond was only 80 yuan. The reason for this phenomenon was that at that time, inflation was severe at around 10%, and the interest rates on treasury bonds could not keep up with inflation, causing them to depreciate more and more. So many people sell their shared treasury bonds at 50% or 60% off, especially rural farmers who treat them as paper waste and turn them into cash. At that time, 
the price of rural treasury bonds was the lowest, and treasury rolls with a face value of 100 could only be sold for 50 or 60 yuan. The situation in the city is better, it can be sold for 70.80 yuan. So later on, the visionary Yang Million appeared. They bought in Feishui City for 60% off and sold in Shanghai for 80% off, with a price difference of 20%. At that time, the train from Shanghai to Feishui took one day, with a round dot trip of 2.3 days. The Yang Million people traveled once a week and earned a lot of money, becoming the wealthiest group of people in Shanghai Beach the next noon, Liu Yu ran to the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China branch on Changshou Road and excitedly asked the staff, Hello Nong, when can I buy and sell treasury bills? The female teller sitting at the window looked bewildered upon hearing this and immediately retorted, Sir, didn't you know that buying and selling treasury bills by individuals is illegal? Liu Yu didn't expect the other party to say that. Fortunately, he carried a newspaper with him, so he quickly took out the newspaper and pointed to the words spoken by Li, the president of the People's Bank of China, and showed it to the female teller. The other person looked at it calmly and felt a thud in their heart. You're not lying, really. Subsequently, the female teller had to explain kindly, Sir, I'm sorry, we haven't received the corresponding red-headed document yet, so we can't give you an accurate answer. Lu Yu knew the rules of the bank and didn't want to continue making things difficult for the other party. He turned around and handed him a note with the phone number of the factory duty guard room where he worked. He asked the female teller to contact him as soon as she received any news. Okay, sir, as soon as I have any news, I will contact Nome. Looking for Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com, seeing the polite and courteous customer in front of her, the female teller did not refuse and readily agreed. Lu Yu, who walked out of the bank, secretly rejoiced. Since even bank practitioners do not know about the news that individuals can buy and sell treasury bonds, aren't others even less aware? What a great opportunity to get rich! The more Lu Yu thought, the happier he became. On the way, he bought many newspapers from the newsstand and came back to study. The latest news shows that the circulation of treasury bonds will be piloted in major cities such as Harbin, Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Chongqing, and their prices will be adjusted appropriately according to local conditions. Cities with better economic development will have higher treasury bond prices, and vice versa. After understanding the current situation, Liu Yu couldn't contain his inner joy. At present, Chinese people's understanding of finance is still quite superficial. Previously, the issuance of treasury bonds faced numerous difficulties, and sometimes even required apportionment to sell them. Many ordinary people who buy treasury bonds are eager to cash them out and sell them to banks at an 80% discount. Banks generally face a shortage of funds, with some banks only having a starting capital of over 100,000 yuan to carry out treasury bill business, which can lead to financial difficulties for a while. The State Council has issued a document stipulating that treasury bills cannot be bought or sold below their face value. However, there are varying degrees of differences in the implementation of this regulation in different regions. The more underdeveloped the economy is, the more severe the situation of discounted buying and selling of private treasury bills. The rule is. Wherever the economy is more backward, treasury bonds are cheaper. And Magic City is the place where policies are most strictly enforced, and there has never been a transaction of treasury bills below their face value. It is precisely this that will become the guarantee for one's own wealth. A few days later, one night, Lu Yu returned to his third-floor loft after work. Yin Fong followed upstairs with a basket of edamames and an enamel bowl in her hand. I'll peel the edamames, it's hot below, she said. Chapter 3 The Startled Silver Phoenix You are listening at NovelFull.audio The weather in May this year is more humid and hot than usual. The doors and windows of Yin Feng's second-floor room are blocked by the building, making it very stuffy. And Lu Yu's attic has an open windowsill facing south, with north-south ventilation, which is particularly cool. 
two people sit opposite each other. In Fong placed the enamel bowl on the table by the window and began peeling the edamame. Hide, where have you been abroad? Lu Yu asked. I only know that I have been to Africa and there has been no news from several accounts. In Fong is a hard-working person, and her husband Hyde is a long-distance sailor who has been at sea for more than eight months and has been growing for over a year. Leave In Fong as a widow at home. Hyde was away all year round, but later he didn't know if there were any good friends outside. Suddenly, his mind turned on water, and after the ship arrived in the United States, he destroyed his documents and jumped off the ship to apply for asylum in Jinji. He became a refugee and stayed in the country, where's the girl? Lu Yu asked again. Go to her grandmother's house and hang out for a few days. In Fong glanced at Lu Yu and whispered, these days, my room has been too hot. To put it bluntly, I have laid a bamboo mat, which is also hot. I have to go shirtless at night. Lu Yu remained silent. In Fong playfully said, don't peek. Actually, Lu Yu has watched it several times already. Under the floor of Lu Yu's attic is Yin Feng's room. These days, the floor sound insulation of Shikuman houses is very poor. In addition to years of disrepair, the floor of the Silver Phoenix roof has been damaged by several holes, and one of them can even accommodate half an eyeball. I don't know why, but Yin Feng just doesn't fix it, often making the little hair upstairs itch. Lu Yu looked at the beautiful young woman Yin Feng in front of him, her past memories vividly remembered like a movie replay. On the day when Lu Yu was reborn last time, the uncle next door on the second floor went out to work the night shift, and Little Mao's mother also went out to show off, leaving only Silver Phoenix and Little Mao in the room. Yin Feng pulled plastic curtains in the inner room to prepare for taking a shower. Coincidentally, Xiao Mao returned from work and passed by the stairs on the second floor. He was called in by Yin Feng to help. Xiao Mao went in and saw that Yin Feng had taken off half of her clothes. She pulled the plastic curtain and planned to take a bath, lifting her legs and wanting to leave. Yin Feng tightened her grip and closed the door, whispering, What's so scary? It's rare to have peace. Why don't you go sit in the inner room? It's cold outside. Sister, I'll make you a cup of hot malt milk to warm your body. The door was clattering with a lock. Xiao Mao's heart trembled. Sitting in front of the windowsill, I heard Yin Feng undressing from behind. At this moment, the sky is already dark, and there is rain and snow floating outside. But the scorching moisture drifted in, and behind Xiao Mao, there were gusts of sweat and wind, hot and steaming. Xiao Mao drank half a cup of malt milk powder in one breath until the cup covered his face tightly. Behind, hot water is poured into the bathtub. Hearing the rustling sound of Yin Feng undressing from behind, Xiao Mao felt a bit restless. Xiao Mao, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It's equivalent to sitting in a special room in her own house, waiting for the elder sister to take a bath and go down to buy two shredded pork and green pepper cold noodles. Allah and Allah eat together. Yin Feng bravely comforted. Yin Feng, I have something to do. Yin Feng trembled and said, Xiao Mao, don't worry. Uncle next door and Nong Yin Yang Shan have gone out. Nong Nan can come to Sister A's house and have a good chat with her. Suddenly, hail started to fall outdoors, and raindrops made a sound, getting bigger and bigger. But the hot and humid rain filled the room and behind Xiao Mao was the sound of hot water mixed with cold water. Only Yin Feng could be heard sitting in the water, hmm, and saying, the interior is really comfortable. There was a sound in the water that sounded smooth and soft, flowing through the skin, shoulder blades, and back waist. Xiao Mao, Yin Feng said Xiao Mao remained silent as water continued to slide through his skin. He picked up the towel and moved his body. Xiao Mao, do a favor to Sister A, Yin Feng said softly. What are you doing? Yin Feng said, help Sister get a soap box. Little hair doesn't make a sound. Xiao Mao, turn around, it's not important, it's not important. 
Xiao Mao continues without making any noise. I won't take it casually, it's okay. Sister has come over. Xiao Mao still doesn't make any noise. Ah, Yin Feng sighed. Then, there was a sound of water, and in fact, the soap box was not far away. The box opened and the soap slid over the skin. Yin Feng whispered again, Xiao Mao, it's okay. One day, Nong will turn around and take a look at sister. Xiao Mao kept jumping inside, constantly looking outside. Close to the window, not far away is the mountain wall of lane 513 next door, without leaving any windows. Below is the alley, and from afar, I can hear Master Wang pouring water and coughing. It was raining and snowing outside, but Xiao Mao was sweating profusely from the heat. The blue brick mountain wall in front of me slowly blurs, and the glass windows emit white mist. The room is small, the door is tightly closed, and it is filled with soapy water and the heat of women, enveloping the hair and steaming in the hot rain. The high temperature and humidity envelop everything. At first glance, Silver Phoenix sat still in the wooden bathtub, but later it felt like it was tightly wrapped in a python, suffocating. Look at my sister, what's the point? Be a man, be brave. Yin Feng said softly again. After hearing this sentence, Xiao Mao put the cup in and slowly turned around. Through the transparent plastic curtain, I could only see a hazy snowfall inside. The jade mountain was toppling, and a white light seemed to roll away. The pink airflow and hot air suddenly slid and rushed towards me. Xiao Mao suddenly felt suffocated, her breathing became thicker, her eyes closed tightly, and she was really nervous. There was a feeling in front of her that a steel wire rope was about to break. At this critical moment, Lu Yu crossed over and became Xiao Mao, who was so frightened that he fled in panic, Xiao Mao, what's on your mind? Yin Feng's face turned slightly red as Lu Yu looked at her in a daze. Yin Feng's skin is snow.white and smooth, with a pair of big eyes full of affection. Her thin lips are soft and full, and her long black hair carries a faint fragrance. Her figure is symmetrical, with full and round lines, and her face is as white as a peach. No matter, no matter. Lu Yu quickly withdrew his gaze. On the previous trip, why did Nong run so fast? Are you afraid that Sister A might be a tiger eating Nong? Yin Feng scolded. I'm afraid someone might suddenly break in, I'm not used to it yet. Sister A is not afraid of anything, what is Nong afraid of? Di Zhong is a person who grows old and grows old, and gradually gets used to it. Yin Feng continued to peel the edamames and glanced at Lu Yudao, peel the edamames and come to my room to sit and rest. What happened? There must be something involved. Lu Yu doesn't make a sound. I hate Heidi for being just a fan. I keep saying, bring back a Japanese electric fan, every trip is empty. Lu Yu remained silent. Two people continued to peel the edamame. Silver Phoenix's fingers were snow.white, and the edamames were emerald green. They were placed in an enamel bowl, and their hands touched each other. Silver Phoenix held on to Lu Yu's fingers. How did you get hurt, painful pain? After work, I helped Master Fan install the ceiling fan and accidentally hit it with a hammer. Yin Feng breathed a sigh and said, I have safflower oil in my room. I'll bring it to help you wipe it later. There's nothing wrong with it, no need. Lu Yu wanted to pull it away, but Yin Feng clenched her voice and said softly, Uncle on the second floor has gone to work. At this moment, suddenly, there was a loud sound from the stairs below. It turned out that the older sister and Lan Lan, two little girls, had entered from outside the alley. Silver phoenixes usually release their hands when electrocuted. Lu Yu smiled and put the edamame into the enamel bowl, asking, Sister, could you please inquire about F.A.? How much savings do you have in your hands now? What are you doing? Yin Foam warned. I want to borrow some copper jewelry from you to invest in treasury bonds. Chapter 4 The First Crab Eater 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Treasury Bills Ian Foam feels a bit unbelievable. Is it reliable for a laid-off employee with a junior high school education to invest? Hmm recently, when I read a newspaper, I noticed that the government has opened up personal investment in buying and selling treasury bonds. I think there are many business opportunities here. As he spoke, Liu Yu took out the newspaper from his pocket and pointed to the words spoken by Governor Li of the People's Bank of China, pointing them out word by word to Yin Feng. Xiao Mao, it sounds like an opportunity. After some explanation, Yin Feng seemed to be tempted. Sister, don't worry, I will write a loan note for you. As the saying goes, if a monk can run away, he can't go to the temple. I will ensure the safety of your money. Even if I run away, a lamb's mother and the old man will help me repay it. Xiao Mao, I can rest assured about this. How much do you want to borrow? How many do you have? In recent years, Hyde's overseas voyages have left over 20,000 pieces of copper jewelry in his room. 20,000 yuan. Lu Yu exclaimed to himself, yes. At present, the average monthly salary in Shanghai is around 200 yuan. After being laid off, I worked as a guard at Dehua Hardware Products Factory on Changshou Road, and my monthly salary was only 120 yuan. Can we borrow 20,000 yuan then? But it's possible, how can you repay me? Perhaps due to taking a shower at night, Yin Feng, who was close to Lu Yu, had a faint body fragrance. Under the dim light of the attic, she was tied up with her hair, fair neck, graceful figure, curvaceous and hazy. A plump figure with beautiful curves and a unique charm, with a slightly reddish face that exudes the calmness and depth unique to mature women. Staring at Lu Yu, her charming gaze was like rippling water, full of charm and charm. Lu Yu unconsciously took a half step back. I'm not even afraid, sister. What's Nong afraid of? Yin Feng said with a shy expression on her face. Seeing signs of Lu Yu retreating, her heart sank and she decided to put down the enamel bowl in her hand, get close to her body, grab his arm, and raise her slightly red face, her eyes full of anticipation. She said in a pitiful soft voice, Xiao Mao, don't have any worries. Don't worry, Nong. I'm not bothering anyone and won't cause any trouble for Nong. If it's okay, just treat it as my sister's pity. Yin Feng's body was as passionate as fire, as if it was about to melt Lu Yu. At eleven o'clock in the night, Yin Feng dragged her tired body and left the three-story small attic where Lu Yu lived lightly. She had never worked so hard before, but she was content and content. The next morning at 8.30 a.m., as soon as the bank opened, Yin Feng withdrew 20,000 yuan in cash from the Changshou Road branch of ICBC Keojiada branch and handed it to Lu Yu. At around 9 o'clock, sweaty Lu Yu arrived at the Pujian Hotel with a huge sum of 20,000 yuan on his bicycle. This is a new classical style building with a history of more than 100 years, which is located on the bank of Huangpu River and beside Garden Bridge of Shanghai. This famous Pujian Hotel, formerly known as the Licha Hotel, was founded in 1846 in the 26th year of the Qing dynasty's Daoguang reign and was also the first western business hotel in China to light up an electric light bulb. Pujian Hotel became the location of the Shanghai Stock Exchange four years ago, and it is also one of the earliest securities exchanges established in mainland China. The current Shanghai Stock Exchange, established in 1984, is limited to the trading of fixed income securities such as treasury bond bonds. In two years, this Shanghai Stock Exchange will transform into a stock trading venue and be renamed as the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Yesterday morning, the female employee from the ICBC branch on Changshou Road called Lu Yu and told him that treasury bond trading can only be conducted in the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Currently, major bank branches are not accepting this business. According to the recently issued implementation plan for the pilot trading of the Shanghai Open Treasury Bond Transfer Market, current treasury bond trading must be conducted in the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Financial institutions operating treasury bills are limited to municipal securities companies and financial trust institutions. 
the document stipulates that there are currently two allowed transfer methods for treasury bills. 1. Self-operated trading. Financial institutions engaged in the transfer of treasury bonds shall use their own funds to purchase or sell treasury bonds to the seller or buyer at the listed price on the same day. The self-operated buying and selling of treasury bonds shall not be lower than the face value. Later, the Ministry of Finance issued a document stipulating that the opening price for the transfer of treasury bonds in the second batch of pilot cities could be set based on the prices of the first batch of pilot cities at that time. The opening and buying price of treasury bonds in various regions should not be lower than the face value in principle, and some slightly lower than the face value must be restored to the face value level within 7.10 days. 2. Agency Buying and Selling Financial institutions engaged in the transfer of treasury bills are entrusted by customers to buy and sell treasury bills on their behalf at the prices, amounts, varieties, and trading terms proposed by customers. After the transaction, a handling fee of 0.3% of the face value shall be charged to both the buyer and seller, with a minimum starting point of 1 yuan each. Today is the first day that the Shanghai Stock Exchange has opened up for individuals to trade and buy treasury bonds, but in the securities trading market on the first floor, counters such as Shanghai Trust and investment companies that operate treasury bond trading are deserted and seem to have little business. Because the previous 5.year treasury bonds could only repay principal and interest once in the sixth year after issuance, and could not be traded in the middle, ordinary people were not very concerned about treasury bonds as an investment product. Currently, most individuals hold treasury bonds that are purchased through unit allocation. After purchasing them, they lock them in drawers and withdraw the principal and interest in a lump sum after five years of maturity. Due to this kind of distribution, which has a semi-mandatory flavor, the common people do not have a good impression of treasury bills and have a strong resistance. Comrades, I want to buy treasury bonds that can be redeemed. Yes, yes, sir. Do you want to buy 85-year or 86-year treasury bills said Xiao Li, a male employee at the treasury trading counter of the Municipal Trust and Investment Company, with a smile on his face. After working for over an hour, the first person to eat crabs finally arrived. So what is the price of the 85-year treasury bill? The selling price for the 85-year coupon is currently 104 yuan. 104 yuan. It's too huge, expensive. A while ago, the scalpers at People's Square were selling for less than 100 yuan. People around couldn't help but start discussing when they heard it. Because according to the Treasury Bill regulations issued by the State Council in November 1984, the interest rate for Treasury Bills issued in 1985 was set at 5% per year for purchases by units, for personal purchases, the annual interest rate is set at 9%. The regulation stipulates that the repayment period for the principal of Treasury bonds is set at 5 years, with a one-dot time repayment of principal and interest in the sixth year after issuance. However, in order to solve the urgent need for funds during the process of purchasing vouchers, the State Council also stipulated that individuals can discount the 1985 Treasury bills they purchased from the bank after being stored for two years. But the Treasury bonds purchased by units cannot be discounted. The 1985 Treasury Bill Discount Method, promulgated in June 1985, had a discount rate of 12.93% per month for the 1985 Treasury bills. But according to this discount method, if an individual's previously purchased Treasury bills are discounted to the bank midway, they will basically lose money. According to the document of the Ministry of Finance, the current calculation formula for the cash payment amount of Treasury bills by major state.owned banks is the bank's cash payment amount equals the sum of the principal and interest of treasury bills at maturity minus the discounted interest, discounted interest equals sum of principal and interest on treasury bonds at maturity x discount rate x discount period, the sum of principal and interest of treasury bonds at maturity equals principal plus principal x term, year, x annual interest for example. If an individual currently holds a 1985 treasury bill worth 100 yuan, they will go to the bank for discount in April 1988. 
at a monthly interest rate of 12.93 per thousand to calculate the bank's cash payment amount. In 1985, the personal interest rate on treasury bills was 9%, and the repayment period was set at 5 years. The calculation can be divided into three steps. The first step is to calculate the sum of the principal and interest of the 85-year treasury bonds at maturity. The principal of the 85-year treasury bill is 100 yuan, with an annual interest rate of 9%, and a repayment period of 5 years. So, the sum of principal and interest of treasury bonds at maturity equals 100 plus 100 asterisk 9% asterisk 5 is equal to 145 yuan step 2, calculate the discount interest. The 85-year treasury bill expired at the end of June 1990, and the holder went to the bank to discount it in April 1988. So, discount period equals 8 months, 1988, plus 12 months, 1989, plus 6 months, 1990, equals 26 months discounted interest equals 145x 12.93 per thousand x 26 is equal to 48.75 yuan step 3, calculate the bank's cash payment amount. According to the calculation results of the first and second steps, it can be concluded that the bank's cash payment amount is 145.48.75 equals 96.25 yuan that is to say, if you purchased 100 yuan of government bonds allocated by the unit in June 1985 and held them for two years, if you went to the bank to discount them a few days ago, you could only receive 96.25 yuan in cash. You have been holding treasury bills for over two years, and not only have you not received the interest, but you are actually losing 3.75 yuan. So when Xiao Li at the counter of the Shanghai Trust and Investment Company spoke up and said that the current listing price of the 85-year treasury bill was 104 yuan, people around him all sneered. The bank discounted the treasury bill for 96.25 yuan and sold it for 104 yuan, which was also too cunning, right? In fact, according to the recently issued implementation plan for the pilot trading of the Shanghai Open Treasury Bond Transfer Market, during the pilot period, the treasury bonds allowed for listing and transfer are limited to those issued to individuals in 1985 and 1986. Financial institutions discounting, mortgaging, and individual treasury bonds held by units with fines, refunds, and claims will not be listed temporarily. Individuals, insurance companies, other non-bank financial institutions, and foundation organizations approved by the People's Bank of China can freely buy and sell treasury bills that are allowed to be listed at financial institutions engaged in treasury bill transfer business. The buying and selling amount is unlimited, but individual purchases should be given priority. Discounted treasury bills received by banks are not allowed to be traded and transferred on the market. People on the side were discussing, saying that the treasury bills sold by the trust company were too expensive. However, Lu Yu couldn't help but be overjoyed after hearing this. The price is reasonable, cheap. Although the current black market trading of treasury bonds is cheap, they are not safe and have no guarantee. Especially for large trading amounts, if caught, they will be punished for the crime of speculation. Those who seek help from Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com will be imprisoned. This crime of speculation was not abolished until 1997. The red line of the law cannot be crossed by oneself. Moreover, for treasury bills purchased from legitimate institutions such as exchanges or banks with an amount of over 1,000 yuan, a treasury receipt will be issued, which can be registered and reported as lost. I bought peace of mind. Sir, are you sure you want to buy 20,000 yuan of 85-year treasury bonds? Xiao Li at the counter of Shanghai Trust and Investment Company looked at two large bundles of 10 face value cash in front of him and confirmed with Lu Yu again. At present, the maximum face value of banknotes is 10 yuan, and the blue and black 100 yuan banknotes will not be discovered until May this year. Hmm, confirm. Lu Yu nodded. D, a young student, has gone crazy. He can buy expensive treasury bills for 20,000 yuan, so it's really frustrating to regret it slowly. Rush, impulsiveness is a devil. 
Lu Yu ignored the discussions of the people around him and smiled off. Sir, the total number of Nong Shu is 192, with a total amount of 19,968 yuan. The handling fee is calculated at 0.3%, which is 60 yuan. Quickly, Xiao Li handed Lu Yu a stack of 192.85 treasury bills with a face value of 100 yuan, as well as a named receipt for purchasing the treasury bills. After completing the procedures for purchasing treasury bonds, it was already around 9.30 p.m. when the golden sunshine swept over the Huangpu River and poured into the lobby of the Shanghai Stock Exchange on the first floor. At this moment, there were more people buying and selling treasury bonds inside, gradually becoming more and more violent. Friend, Nong is brave enough to become the first person in Ala Shanghai Beach to eat hairy crabs. As soon as Lu Yu put away his treasury bills and registered receipts, he approached a middle-aged man wearing glasses, slightly chubby, with a short haircut. He actually came earlier than Lu Yu, but couldn't make up his mind and kept watching at the counter. Chapter 5 Getting Rich You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals Window Ads by Google Push, Master Yang Lu Yu couldn't help but blurt out to the middle-aged man wearing glasses. His appearance is too familiar. This is the legendary Yang Million, known as the first mainland investor and the first speculator to sell treasury bonds and make a fortune. In his past life, Lu Yu also attended his stock market salon lecture. Do you recognize me? Yang Wan Wan widened her eyes in surprise. Master Yang, my master Lao Fan used to be an old fitter at your ferro alloy factory. I've seen you a long time ago, Lu Yu said with a smile. There are over a thousand people in the Shanghai ferro alloy factory, who knows who. The world is so small. My friend, let me ask you, why did you make up your mind to buy such a large amount of treasury bonds? Yang Wan Wan curiously stared at Lu Yu and asked. I feel that the current state's relaxation of individual buying and selling of treasury bonds is an opportunity, and in the future, more and more people in Shanghai will be discerning. After all, after the country's reform and opening up, the economy has become more and more developed, but there are not many financial products that ordinary people can invest in. I believe that in the future, this type of treasury bond will definitely become popular with circulation. Xiao Mao you and I thought of going together. Heroes really have similar opinions. Yang Wan Wan happily patted Lu Yu's shoulder, with a feeling of regret for meeting too late. After chatting between the two, Yang Wan Wan told Lu Yu that he had previously read a news in a newspaper. Wenzhou is implementing interest rate liberalization, with bank interest rates as high as 13%. His eyes lit up and he thought of saving his money in Wenzhou, where he could earn an annual interest of 2,600 yuan, which was much better than working because he had only a monthly salary of 168 yuan before. Just as he was preparing to purchase a boat ticket to Wenzhou, he saw another news a few days ago. The Shanghai Stock Exchange was about to open up personal treasury bond trading. He felt that there was a greater opportunity inside and immediately decided to change his investment direction, shifting his focus from Wenzhou to the treasury market in Shanghai. Shaoli, I also bought a 20,000 yuan 85-year treasury bill. Subsequently, Yang Million quickly took out two large stacks of cash from his bag and handed them to Shaoli, a Shanghai trust and investment company. He became the second customer to purchase treasury bonds at the counter of the company today, following Lu Yu. At 11 o'clock, when Lu Yu and Yang Wan Wan were chatting and leaving the Pujiang Hotel, more and more people came to the Shanghai Stock Exchange to trade and buy treasury bonds, forming a long queue. After all, it was the first major investment after being reborn. After returning home, Lu Yu couldn't help but feel at ease. In the early afternoon, just as the Shanghai Stock Exchange opened, Lu Yu couldn't help but run to the Pujiang Hotel to check the market situation. Xiao Mao, I've met Nong again, fate. Unexpectedly, at the door, I bumped into Yang Wani, who was rushing towards me with enthusiasm. After looking at each other, the two couldn't help but burst out laughing. 
After entering the trading market hall, there was a long queue of counters engaged in buying and selling treasury bonds. The hall was crowded with people, filled with darkness and bustling activity. Quickly, Yan Wan Wan became excited and shouted at the landing rain, Xiao Mao, Xiao Mao, it's gone. It's gone up to 112 yuan. Originally, in the afternoon, the price of the 85 treasury bonds rose from 104 yuan to 112.8 yuan, and the listed buying price was 112 yuan. 192 sheets, earning 8 yuan per sheet, a total of 1536 yuan can be earned. Xiao Mao, Allah is getting rich, getting rich. Yang Million grinned and laughed heartily. Quickly, he threw out 192 85 treasury bills with a face value of 100 yuan in his hand, deducting a handling fee of 65 yuan, and earning a net profit of 1,471 yuan. This money is equivalent to Lu Yu's current 10-month salary. Xiao Mao, Nong is not willing to throw it away yet. I'll be alone for him first. Let me take a look again and see how popular the lobby is now. I think there may be another surge. After all, there are too few financial products that people can openly buy and sell for speculation, and the annual interest rate offered by the 85 Treasury bill is 9%. I think it's not impossible to be speculated to 120 yuan. As soon as Lu Yu finished speaking, the listed buying price of 85 Treasury bills had been hyped up to 112.5 yuan. Xiao Mao, Nong still has a keen eye. It seems that I sold too early. Yang Wan Wan felt a little regretful. At 4 o'clock in the afternoon, the listed buying price of the 85 treasury bonds reached 116 yuan, and Lu Yu stopped and sold them all. 19200 yuan treasury bills, earning 12 yuan each, deducting a handling fee of 0.3%, resulting in a total net profit of 2237 yuan. This money is equivalent to his salary as a security guard for over a year after being laid off. After being reborn, Lu Yu tested his skills and earned his first bucket of gold, which greatly boosted his mood. Passing by Jingan Park, the blooming sakura blossoms of Yoshino Renai sway in the wind, emitting a faint aroma that makes one feel relaxed and happy, with blooming flowers like a brocade. Smelling the fragrance of cherry blossoms, Lu Yu remembered the fragrance on Yin Feng's body last night, and surprisingly felt a bit dazed. In the original work, Xiao Mao told his story with Yin Feng to Master Fan. After hearing this, Master Fan made me sad. Yin Feng is indeed a good woman, but Xiao Mao has suffered a loss. In the future, I remember that being a man is like walking for a lifetime. No matter day or night, Look forward with your eyes, and you cannot turn back. When you turn back, you can touch Yin Fong, but also Red Man Little Hair doesn't make a sound. Master Fan said, looking for Xu Yuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com, this time I turned around and said it's nothing. In fact, it's like letting a big woman eat a child's chicken. But Master Fan also told Xiao Mao that neighbors like Yin Fong, such as Sister In Law and Aunt, are the most considerate. Thinking of this, Lu Yu smiled. In his past life, he had already been a greasy middle-aged man. When he met a woman who was struggling, Yin Fong, and offered a helping hand, it could be considered a pleasure. He couldn't help but recall the scene from last night. The third floor attic, the inner room. Xiao Mao, it's not important, it's not important, it's not important. The three or five card desk clock by the bedside also seems to be repeating. It's not important, it's not important the two hugged tightly, as if the steel wire rope was about to break the clock ticks away a long time later, with a sudden thud, the clock fell to the ground, thud 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 The world suddenly fell silent, the air was cool, and the sound of rain outside decreased. Xiao Mao, don't move, rest. To be honest, Sister A is happy with you. Your performance surprised Sister Jiao Guan, 
and Nong has become more stubborn than Hyde. Yin Fong is really a considerate woman Lu Yu passed through the bustling Huaihai Road and arrived at the most famous Huading Road clothing market in Shanghai, which is known as Little Hong Kong. Huading Road, along with Xiuxue Street in Beijing and Gaudi Street in Guangzhou, is known as one of the three major clothing markets in mainland China today. Nearly 400 tent stalls are crowded on a narrow 700-meter road, filled with people and bustling atmosphere. Ah Mao, do you have time to come over and buy clothes today? Xiao Qin greeted him, wearing a waist-tied milky white short skirt, with a symmetrical and tall figure and beautiful eyebrows and eyes. She is a beautiful lady vendor at a clothing stall on Huading Road and a friend of Lingzi. Chapter 6 Shigong Dance Hall. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Xiao Qin was introduced to everyone by Lingzi, who had just returned from Tokyo, at a dinner organized by Tao Tao, Mr. Bao, and Hu Xing last time. At present, she has not been hooked up by Tao Tao and is still a pure hearted girl. Lingzi explained at the time, don't look at Xiao Qin as a bodhisattva with spicy hands. As soon as the new version of the sample is released in Japan, I will send it from Tokyo to Shanghai, and Xiao Qin will be distributed again. Six days later, it will be sold at the Huading Road stall. Yeah, Xiao Qin, take a break today, come and wander the streets, lead the market. Lu Yu smiled. Xiao Mao, you have a good figure and an elegant temperament. I would like to recommend a few new clothes that we have received in our store. How can we offer you the cost price? That's kind of you, thank you very much. What Xiao Qin recommends to Lu Yu is a batch of the latest arrivals of Hong Kong and Taiwan style casual wear. The 1980s was an extraordinary decade for men's fashion, with casual wear becoming increasingly popular in the Shanghai market. Tang Yu chose a pilot jacket and a beige trench coat, two blue distressed jeans, two loose polo shirts and T-dot shirts, a pair of flip martin boots, and white sneakers. These clothes were originally priced at 350 yuan, but Xiao Qin received a total of 200 yuan from Lu Yu after a 60% discount. When Lu Yu took off his work clothes and changed into an American pilot jacket, retro blue water milled straight leg jeans, and flipped martin boots, his overall demeanor was suddenly refreshed and his heroic spirit was full of vitality. Wow, Xiao Mao, Ha Shui. You can become a model now, Xiao Qin exclaimed in surprise. Lu Yu's brand new image completely subverts the previous image of a destitute laid dot off worker, with a completely new temperament and full of the youthful spirit of striving for progress in the current era. After leaving Huading Road, Lu Yu arrived at the West Palace located on Wanning Road. The full name of Shigong is Kushi Workers Cultural Palace, which is currently the largest garden style workers cultural palace in the city. It is known as the Three Great Palaces of the Shanghai Stock Exchange, along with the Workers Cultural Palace, City Palace, and the Workers Cultural Palace, East Palace, in Shanghai. The Western Palace covers a large area, including not only the cinema at the entrance, but also many buildings and artificial lakes behind it, like a large park. Currently, commercial entertainment projects such as contracted dance halls, game rooms, and outdoor children's playgrounds have been opened up in buildings near the lake. As soon as you enter the gate of the Western Palace, the cool lake breeze faintly brings the saxophone slow triad music from the opposite dance hall. The dance hall is filled with flickering lights and bustling crowds, making it incredibly lively. There are several security guards wearing red armbands at the entrance maintaining order. Xiao Mao, how could Nome come over today? Are you here to dance? This new outfit, Ha Shui, I almost can't recognize you. One of the tall young security guards warmly greeted Lu Yu from a distance. This man with a large and round waist is named Su Jiangwo. He was a classmate and close friend of Lu Yu when he was a student. The two of them once went together to learn Xingyi Fist from the master of the Yi family's house by the Suzhou River. It's been a long time since we last met. Jiangwo, I've come here to chat with you three times. Lu Yu threw two packs of Hong Kong made Liang Yu brand cigarettes to Su Jiangwo. 
Local people in Shanghai refer to discussions or casual conversations as Ga San Hu. According to legend, due to the absence of Sanxian in traditional musical instruments and the fact that playing the qin in Shanghai means rolling the qin, rolling the san hu, is also used to describe idle chatter that does not enter the tune. Su Jiangwo was very surprised when he received his good friend's cigarette. Xiao Mao had never given him a cigarette, let alone this high dot end cigarette. Thank you, Xiao Mao. Come on, Allah will sit down in the dance hall and have tea while giggling his three mustaches. Su Jiangwo pulled Xiao Mao into the dance hall and found a booth. The waiter brought two free cups of green tea. The two of them had just sat down, and after an elegant slow three social dance, the classic Diego dance song, Cold Than Ice, rang out in the dance hall. After the lively prelude, the voice of American singer Grant Miller drifted out from the speakers. There she stands on the floor, color than ice, fixed on the door, color than ice. This is the third dance song from the first episode of the classic Dutch series, released three years ago in 1985 and currently popular worldwide. After hearing the music of Digo, people rushed into the dance hall and danced wildly under the strong rhythm of disco music. At present, most dance halls in Shanghai not only perform social dance, but also dance disco. Disco comes from Yangjingbang in English, and the locals call it Digeo, also known as Digo. Fast 3 Slow 3 is currently the mainstream of social dance, so people in Shanghai have given it a very vivid name called Peng Wipe. Most dance halls nowadays alternate between fast and slow music, playing high music for one hour for everyone to dance disco, and then half an hour of light music for everyone to dance social dance. There is no way, there are too many dance halls in the current Shanghai market. Only by expanding the target customer base can the business of dance halls be good. Xiao Mao, how could it be that the Alaxi Palace dance hall is fiercely attacking and spiritual attacking? Su Jiangwo also proudly pulled Lu Yu into the dance floor and twisted his buttocks. In this era, the Shigong dance hall of the Shanghai West Workers Culture Palace, the Longdong dance hall of the Beihai Hotel, and the Chaoyang Dance Hall of the Chaoyang Cinema are all popular dance halls nearby. Previously, due to certain reasons, commercial dance halls disappeared from the Shanghai Stock Exchange for over 20 years, causing people to turn pale when talking about dancing. The real change occurred in 1987. Last February, the three ministries of culture, public security, and the State Administration for Industry and Commerce jointly issued a notice on improving the management of dance parties, clearly stating that holding commercial dance parties is an objective demand for China's economic development and the increasing material and cultural living standards of the people. Since then, dancing has finally freed itself from the moral stigma it had always carried. Following the 1930s, Shanghai Beach has once again ushered in a boom in the opening of dance halls, with various dance halls popping up like mushrooms after rain. Currently, the Shanghai Stock Exchange has over 300 dance halls and music tea houses, ranking first in the country in terms of quantity. Everyone is releasing their passion and romance in the dance hall, and their footsteps are jumping, stepping out of the rhythm of the city of Shanghai towards the 21st century. Ling, absolutely Ling. As he spoke, Lu Yu opened his eyes curiously and looked at the men and women on the dance floor. In today's dance halls, women like to wear windbreakers on the outside, semi-transparent Georgette white shirts on the inside, bubble sleeves, and elegant and elegant. All kinds of wool and cashmere sweaters on the body, high collar, half high collar, and chicken heart collar, green, red, and beige, compete with each other, colorful, lower body, Look for Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com. Skirts are standard, including long skirts, short skirts, pleated skirts, pencil skirts, one step skirts, and high dot heeled shoes in different colors. Men who dance nowadays enjoy the windbreaker and coat outfits of Su Wenxiang in the TV series Shanghai Beach. The inner layer is a three piece suit, suit vest, and suit pants paired with Shanghai Snail and Kai Kai brand shirts. The more stylish one is the fashionable goods brought back by relatives from Hong Kong. The collar is straight, 
and the golden, silver, or coral texture cuffs occasionally shine from the sleeves of the suit. These dressed dancers are relatively older and more composed. Young people, on the other hand, like to have their heads hot and wear heavyweight silk Mingda Jiao, Big Crotch Prince's pants, and Dina and EKKO on their feet. Girls like to wear mini skirts with suspenders and their faces are painted like pandas. There were many people in the dance hall, and the air was filled with a strange smell of hormones, tobacco and inferior perfume. In today's era, it is still popular to perform wild dance, where two people face each other on the dance floor and dance with sharp eyes, neither of whom is convinced. In current words, as long as one is not embarrassed, then others are the ones who are embarrassed. Looking at Lu Yu, who had been reborn, he wished he could remove his eyeballs and take a shower under the faucet. Finally, after finishing this dance song, Lu Yu returned to his seat and wiped the sweat off his forehead, asking, Jang Wo, how much salary does the dance hall owner offer you for a month at Shigong? Plus overtime pay, it's about 200 yuan. D is also a temporary job, so it's not necessarily that Chen Guang was fired by the boss. Su Jiangwo lifted his head and gulped down half a bottle of iced cola, then asked with a smile, how could that be? Xiao Mao, do you plan to introduce me to a job? Lu Yu glanced at Jiangwo, who had a sturdy physique, and smiled, do you want to make extra money? Chapter 7 The Riddle of Silver Phoenix You are listening at NovelFull.audio Of course, of course I need extra copper jewelry. How can I, Gnome, have a way? Tomorrow, come with me to Feishui City for a field trip. You don't need to do anything else, just be my bodyguard to protect my safety. I'll give you 50 yuan per trip. How can I do that? Are you interested? 50 yuan per trip. Is it true or false, Xiao Mao? Don't slander me, Gnome. Su Jiangwo couldn't believe it. If he followed Xiao Mao to Feishui City, he could earn 50 yuan. In this way, by visiting Feishui City four times a month, one can easily earn a month's salary. How could there be such a good thing in the world? I'm serious. Jiang Wo, if you're interested, this is an advance payment for your first payment. Lu Yu took out a stack of money from his pocket, counted five ten yuan bills, and stuffed them into Su Jiang Wo's hand. Okay, Xiao Mao, then let's make a deal. Looking at the money in front of him, Su Jiangwo believed that what Lu Yu said was true. After happily putting the money into his pocket, Su Jiangwo asked again, Xiao Mao, what business do you plan to do in Feishui City tomorrow? Why did you designate me as your bodyguard? Jiangwo Nong has good kung fu. Let Nong go to Feishui City with me, I can rest assured. As for the business experience, Nong will know when they arrive in Feishui City during the Ming Dynasty. Lu Yu remembered when he was studying, Zhang Wo was very honest. He practiced his fists according to his master's instructions and placed a blade of grass paper on the domino stool. He fought for a few days, but the grass paper made a hole and ate his father's food, beaten. Later on, Su Zhang Wo became a proud disciple of a fist master, dancing over fifty pounds of stone poles and locks in a lively manner, and mastering his martial arts skills. He gained some fame along the Changshou Road in western Shanghai. At night, after coming out of the western palace and returning home, Little Mao almost couldn't recognize Lu Yu, damn it, Xiao Mao. Where did Nong come from to buy copper jewelry? Everyone can wear clothes like this. I recently collaborated with friends to make a profit from doing small businesses. I won't do anything bad, will I? Don't worry, it's definitely a legitimate business. Come on, mom, DGE's 200 yuan is the small vegetable copper jewelry for this account. Starting from this account, I will subsidize you with 200 yuan of small vegetable copper jewelry every month. Xiao Mao Nyang took a thick stack of banknotes with an excellent hand feel and couldn't close her mouth with a smile. Mom, I also believe that Xiao Mao Nong won't do anything bad. Nong has been timid since childhood. It's getting late, so Nong should take a bath and sleep early. 
At ten o'clock in the evening, people in the alleyway were already asleep. Xiao Mao was counting money in the attic when suddenly a faint knocking on the door came from outside. What person? Me, is the voice of Yin Fong. Yin Fong tiptoed up to the attic on the third floor, covered the door, and smiled at Lu Yudao, Xiao Mao, your new outfit is so handsome. Where did you buy it, Huading Road? By the way, all the money for buying clothes was earned from buying and selling treasury bills today. Sister, I have to thank you for lending me the money. Here's a small item for you. Speaking, Lu Yu handed Yin Fong an exquisite box. After opening the silver phoenix, there was a new pair of Ferragamo women's sunglasses inside. This is a replica purchased by Lu Yu from Huading Road this afternoon. So beautiful, Xiao Mao. This is your first time giving me a gift, I like it. After putting on fashionable sunglasses, Yin Fong raised the bedside mirror and kept looking at it, full of joy. After receiving nourishment last night, her whole complexion changed. Her skin was smooth and hydrated, and she was like a newly ripe peach, with a slight redness and radiance. Her lips were soft and full, and the slightly upturned corners of her mouth became even more charming under the light, is the money from this treasury bill so easy to earn. It can be made on the first day of trading, she asked curiously, leaning on Lu Yu's shoulder. I didn't expect to make money on the first day, it's purely luck. Yin Fong, next, I want to go out of town to purchase treasury bills. Can you lend me this money for a few more days? When I go to Qingguang, I will pay double the interest to Nong Bank. No problem, interest doesn't matter. Yin Fong smiled and hugged Lu Yu's neck, as long as you can come back. Then he sighed and said, Xiao Mao, I also know that this relationship between Allah and me won't last long. Women like me suffer a lot. Before, there were men who bullied me and ate me tofu. Who dares to eat known tofu? Forget it, let's not talk about it anymore. Sai, with Chen Guan, I am like a living dead person, like in, the Red Army of Women. What does it mean? A woman wants to join the army, and Wu Qionghua asks her, why join the army? The woman opens the tent and there is a wooden man on the bed. This plot, at a glance, I won't forget. If I spend every night with wooden and plastic men, what else does it smell like? Lu Yu chuckled lightly and said, Master Allah said that there are only two men in the women's army. Watching dozens of women dance thy dances every day is equivalent to one being the emperor and the other being the prime minister. Alas, women are suffering. Yin Feng sighed. Lu Yu doesn't make a sound. Yin Feng's body trembled slightly, and she pressed against Xiao Mao's soft voice, uncle on the second floor, looking for a book garden www.xiaoshuyuan.com is a lowly embryo. I used to often tell me dirty stories. There was a story about an ancient widow who never remarried, and the emperor would give him a memorial archway to praise her. There was an old lady who died at the age of sixteen and waited until he passed away at the age of eighty point four. The rooster and dog didn't look at him, but only wanted the emperor to give him a memorial archway. Later, when the old lady passed away, something came out under her pillow, and I guess what it was. I can't guess. Nome casually guessed. Well, it's definitely not a good thing, Lu Yu laughed. It's okay. Just talk about it casually. Lu Yu smiled and said, I have a friend named Zhang Wo who told me a story about a time when he went to the market to buy Su, eggplant. He found a woman inside the market who specialized in pinching and pinching. The vegetable stall called by Luo Luo Bo, which was made of white strips. This woman didn't pinch, but specialized in pinching eggplants, that is, purple strips. She picked eggplants that were both smooth and smooth, neither hard nor soft, which was strange. A woman picked and picked, pinched and pinched, let go of her hands, then picked a strong and long one, pinched and pinched again. There were many people and hands in the vegetable stall, and no one paid attention. The woman just pinched and pinched one by one. Finally, she bought the most beautiful, beautiful, eggplant and left. 
Zhang Wo said. Gnome talks about strange cutting. Whether it's braised, braised in oil, or cold mixed in sesame oil, one eggplant is always not enough. This eggplant is probably not for a woman to burn small dishes when she buys it back. Yin Feng smiled and lightly tapped Lu Yu's shoulder. You're talking nonsense, right? Cut an eggplant into slanted slices, embed minced meat on both sides, add flour, and simmer in oil to make a bowl. Guess wrong, guess again. Lu Yu smiled and said, Zhang Wo also told another story. In Songjiang, there was a woman whose husband supported a foreign African textile factory. After two or three years of not coming back, when the cucumbers in her vegetable field were ripe, she placed one under her pillow. Huh, no, no, talk nonsense. Chapter 8 Thompson Color TV Craft Book You are listening at NovelFull.audio Bad guy, I don't want to hear it anymore, Yin Fong said angrily. It's just a lie. Zhang Wo is a bad guy. Gnome guessed it all wrong. It's not eggplant, nor cucumber, lufa, bitter gourd, or night blooming. Anyway, under the pillow, it's not this shape. Guess again. I really can't guess. Yin Feng sighed and said, actually, it's a string of copper jewelry, also known as a copper plate. It's so polished that you can't see the words anymore, shiny like a mirror. Lu Yu doesn't make a sound. Yin Feng hugged Lu Yu and whispered, Uncle on the second floor told me, Yin Feng, did you think of it? Thousands, tens of thousands of nights, women crawl like ants, rolling back and forth on the bed, unable to sleep, in order to win prizes and for the archway. At night, with a thought in mind, they can only secretly pinch this string of copper jewelry, touch this string of copper jewelry, count one, two, three, four, and five, and count until dawn. Gnome thought about how hard it is for Ala to be a woman. The next morning, Lu Yu did not go to the Shanghai Stock Exchange to buy and sell treasury bonds. After drinking the first course of soup, the leftovers became tasteless. He directly called a red Shelley taxi to the new passenger station. Previously, the old train station in Shanghai was still located at the Old North Station on Tianmu East Road. Although it underwent several expansions, the largest waiting room was still less than 400 square meters, with 50,000 passengers taking the train every day. During the peak hours, an average of five passengers stood every two square meters, making it extremely crowded. In order to better support the development of the Shanghai stock market, the construction of a new railway station was put on the agenda, and construction finally broke ground in 1984. On December 28, 1987, a brand new railway station was officially built and put into use on the north bank of Suzhou in the current Xiaobei area, known as the New Passenger Station by people in Shanghai. The new railway station is the first modern railway station in China. The 20,000 square meter main building adopts a new layout of elevated waiting and north south opening. There are 18 elevators in the station area for passengers to enter and exit and all 16 reserved waiting rooms are covered with air conditioning. A 9.meter.wide passenger passage is set on both sides, which is spacious and comfortable. At the entrance of the North Square, Su Jiangwo had been waiting for a long time. Xiao Mao, I have already bought the ticket for train number 87. Hurry up and get in, he said the entire journey from the 87 express train departing from the Shanghai New Railway Station to Feishui City takes over 10 hours, nearly a thousand kilometers. Su Jiangwo's home is close to the New Railway Station. He came early this morning and bought a train ticket to Feishui. After the train entered the station, the voices grew louder and louder. Bang Chi, the iron door opened, and the female train conductor, a tall and large-skinned girl, came down to guide the passengers getting off and on the train. Don't squeeze, don't squeeze, get off first and then get on, elderly and children first. Entering the carriage, it was filled with shouts such as, don't squeeze. This box can't sit. Don't step on the children. There's no place here. In this era, there are green trains without air conditioning, and the conditions are simple. 
but Lu Yu found that everyone's mental state on the train was excellent. The train started, and after a brief period of chaos, people had already gone their separate ways and taken their respective positions. In the crowded carriage, everyone seemed to be happily on vacation, either chewing melon seeds, playing cards, drinking tea, or chatting. The content of the chat is also diverse, including spring festival gala skits, emergency, songs, 365 Li Lu, and Xin Tianyu, free markets, department stores, Hong Kong electronic quartz watches, Anhui opera, seven armies in water, fermented rice balls and egg flowers, three joint leather shoes, traditional Chinese medicine cancer treatment, differential selection, wedding banquet amidst these warm gossip, suddenly a fully armed police officer squeezed in from the front door carriage. Attention everyone, the police officer announced while gasping for breath, holding a loudspeaker in his hand, just now, two villains went up in the previous carriage, fishing in troubled waters and stealing by hooligans. There were a few villains who specifically went to the car to steal things. We have caught those two villains. We hope that all passengers will be vigilant, cooperate closely, and fight resolutely against criminal elements. Have you heard me clearly? Listen clearly. The passengers in the car answered in unison like elementary school students. The police officer left with satisfaction, carrying a loudspeaker, and probably went to another carriage for promotion. This scene seemed to immerse Lu Yu himself in the drama, coming and going. He couldn't help but touch a small bag he was carrying, the four pockets of his shirt, and the three pockets of his pants. Fortunately, everything was safe and sound. The train continued to move forward, with everyone in the carriage chatting and dozing off, munching on their own melon seeds and smoking their own cigarettes. Abnormal Harmony After the train police left, Lu Yu discovered that in the noisy environment of the carriage, there was a middle-aged man in his forties wearing glasses on the opposite aisle. He was wearing a blue work uniform and was holding a thick English document in his hand, enjoying it. The nearsighted glasses have thick lenses like beer bottles, giving off the impression of not hearing anything outside the window, only reading books of sages. Not in line with the noisy crowd around. Upon closer inspection, the English document in the glasses man's hand is printed with English words such as Color TV T51 Series Process and Thomson Consumer Electronics on the outside. This scene made Lu Yu very curious. Thomson Thomson, a European company, is known as the pioneer of color televisions and one of the world's renowned consumer electronics manufacturers. Last year, Thomson acquired the consumer electronics business of General Electric in the United States, including RCA-branded color TVs from American wireless companies, becoming the world's largest color TV manufacturer. That is to say, in 1987, General Electric Company of the United States switched its television business to Thomson's medical business. Through this transaction, Thomson has become the world's largest television manufacturer today. In his past life, Lu Yu read Jack Welch's autobiography. In 1981, Welch began a comprehensive transformation of GE from the moment he took office, with the largest organizational change in GE's history lasting for nearly 10 years. Back then, Welch sold its television business to Thomson in exchange for its medical division, while GE's refrigerator business was sold as a whole to hire in China. When Welch decided to exchange GE's television business for Thomson's medical division, the entire United States exploded, saying that he had given up such a huge market, was GE crazy? Welch's explanation is that the television business did not achieve the top two, while the medical business has a lot of room for growth. Jack Welch's current strategy is, don't be the first, do the second, otherwise exit. Sure enough, later GE Healthcare became the global industry leader. The eyeglass man in front of him is actually engaged in a job related to Thomson Company, which makes Lu Yu very curious. Chapter 9 Chief Engineer of Radio Factory 2 You are listening at Novel Full Audio. The reason why Lu Yu is interested is because in the 1980s, there was no product in mainland China with such a high demand as color televisions, which turned purple due to the heat. Currently, 
Color televisions have transcended the scope of television and become a connection and carrier of spiritual civilization between urban and rural households. At present, a large number of domestic brand televisions have emerged in China, and almost every province in China has one or several of its own color TV companies. For example, the Panda brand, which originated from the Jinling wireless power plant and used to manufacture radios for the Flying Tigers to aid China, the Golden Star brand of the Shanghai Television Factory, the Peony brand of the Beijing Television Factory, and the Leap brand of the Shanghai Wireless Power Plant. But the main components of these televisions, such as picture tubes and high dot frequency converters, mainly rely on imports. At present, color televisions are the most popular household appliances, and a black market price for a color TV ticket is nearly a thousand yuan. When the train arrived at Wuxi Station, it was almost noon when the train attendant pushed a dining car to sell boxed meals. The current boxed lunch is willing to give oil, and ordinary street goods come in a large box of 51 yuan, with a large quantity. The stir-fried Wuxi sweet and sour pork ribs, green pepper stir-fried shredded meat, and sliced meat stir-fried cucumbers are all delicious. The most expensive one is braised fish fillet, which costs 2 yuan per serving. The price of train boxed meals may be a bit expensive, but being able to taste the chef's craftsmanship is also worth it. When the dining car arrived, the man with glasses finally put down the English information in his hand and ordered a sweet and sour pork rib topper to water the rice, enjoying it with relish. In the end, he didn't even let go of the gaps inside the pork ribs, sucked them with relish, and both hands were covered in oil sauce. After finishing his meal, he suddenly felt a bit at a loss. Master, come and wipe your hands. Lu Yu timely handed over a napkin. Oh, thank you, thank you. After finishing packing up, the man with glasses went to the bathroom and lost his lunchbox. After washing his hands, he returned and sat down in his seat again. He then nodded to Lu Yu as a gesture of gratitude. Master, are you planning to introduce a color TV production line from Thomson Company in France, said Lu Yu with a smile as he chatted, oh, how did you know that? The man with glasses widened his eyes. The English information in your hand just now was written on the outside. Lu Yu smiled and pointed to the cover of the English information in his position. Oh, I see. The man with glasses suddenly understood. Young student, it seems that your English is good. Which university did you graduate from and which company did you work for? The curious glasses man asked a series of questions to Lu Yu. Lu Yu smiled and said, I graduated from a social university and am currently working as a freelancer. Young student, you must be joking, right? The glasses man was a bit skeptical. The experience of being able to understand these professional English words and knowing the Thomson Company in France is not simple. Later, he curiously asked, young student, do you know about this Thomson Company? Well, I heard that this Thomson Company acquired General Electric's consumer electronics business related to televisions last year, becoming the world's largest television manufacturer today. Lu Yu's words couldn't help but make the glasses man look at him with a new look, young student, are you also in the television industry? That's not true, it's just that I care more about it in my daily life. Although Lu Yu is very humble, the man with glasses has a sixth sense, and the young man in front of him is definitely not simple. Then the two of them started chatting from all over the place. Su Jiangwo, who was standing next to him, was taken aback and aback. Xiao Mao, as a laid-off worker and temporary guard, when did you understand so much? After the communication, Lu Yu finally found out that the man in front of him was named Zhang Shi, who was the chief engineer of the second radio factory in Feishui City. Feishui Radio Second Factory first introduced Japanese JVC color TV production lines four years ago, purchasing JVC parts for production. Later, it was adjusted to a more advanced production line from Sanayo Company. Recently, Feishui Radio Second Factory plans to introduce more advanced new digital color televisions from European company Thomson together with Jinling 714 Factory. The current so. 
called digital color TV refers to the digitization of the control system, rather than the digitization of the signal system. Liu Yu has worked as an analyst in the home appliance industry at an internationally renowned investment company in his past life, and he is very familiar with this industry. After communicating, the two of them became familiar at first sight, feeling a deep regret for meeting too late. When stopping at Changzhou Station Midway, Liu Yu asked Su Jiangwo to buy a few packets of peanuts, a roasted chicken, and two bottles of Tango Daku from the station. Then the three of them drank and chatted on the train. At the moment when the wine was drunk and the ears were hot, Zhang Shi, who was half-smoked, even opened his mouth. He is an honest scholar with no ulterior motives. While exhaling alcohol, he reminisces about why he, a local of Shanghai, went to work in Feishui City back then. In 1964, I graduated from the physics department of Shanghai Institute of Technology. At that time, all the college students in the city were not assigned jobs and went to work in the countryside. After graduation, I was first assigned to Feishui Commercial School and then to the countryside, where I spent a total of 10 years. During these 10 years, I searched for the three tongs. Living, eating, and working together with the poor and lower middle peasants. But did not have any exposure to professional knowledge. The golden period of life was wasted in vain. In 1974, I was transferred to the second radio factory in Feishui City. When I reported to the organization department of the second radio factory, I told the department head. I want to be a worker. The organization department head was curious. Only workers can find ways to promote themselves, and we have never encountered improper cadres who want to become workers. What are your thoughts on this? At this moment, Liu Yu and Su Jiangwo also expressed curious questions, Zhang Gong, why did you give up your good cadre status and want to become a worker? Zhang Shi sighed and said, it's a long story, why do I have to be a worker? Now I think back then, I was too childish. Because at that time, the red five categories in the family composition were popular. My ancestors used to do business in Shanghai Beach and almost became capitalists. Previously, I filled in the employee component on my resume form, fearing it would affect future generations. At that time, I thought that after becoming a worker, children and grandchildren would become workers. Besides, at that time I was completely clueless about television technology, how could I be assigned to the technical department? So I'll start as a worker and learn step by step at that time, transistor televisions had just been born, and the technology was not yet up to par. All televisions on the market were made of electronic tubes. The second radio factory established a television unit, so I was assigned to this television unit. The developed product is a 4D4 black and white transistor 9.inch television set from the Shanghai Radio 4th factory. Later, I was assigned to the audio group to learn the entire process from material requisition, welding to debugging, at that time, I knew nothing about production technology, couldn't solder, couldn't understand the models of components, and couldn't use testing instruments. Later, with a foundation in university physics, I followed my master step by step in production practice, and relied on my own theoretical research. Chapter 10 Sincerity, 10% Off You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zhang Shi continued, at that time, the second wireless factory in Feishui City was also unfamiliar with the production process of televisions. Therefore, I contacted a distant relative of the 18th wireless factory in Shanghai, who happened to work in the technology department. Later, I took a letter of introduction from the factory on a business trip to Shanghai, and through relatives' connections, I brought back the production process documents of Feiyue brand televisions from the 18th wireless factory in Shanghai. This document played a crucial role in the development of television production in our factory, and later I was promoted to engineer, chief engineer. Seven years ago, our factory obtained approval for 50,000 Japanese sharp black and white televisions from the electronics department in Beijing. The factory assembled 50,000 black and white televisions, earning a net profit of over 15 million yuan, which greatly improved our factory's economy. 
We only spent 3 million yuan to build a 30,000 square meter color TV building, and even transferred 10 million yuan directly from the bank to develop the public transportation industry in the city. The introduction of Japanese television assembly technology this time has had a great impact on us. While improving the level of assembly technology, it has also made us understand the production efficiency of modern assembly lines. An interesting incident occurred in the middle. In order to solve the problem of component and component wear and tear in the production factory, the Japanese side provided an additional 1,500 sets of TV spare parts. Later, we made every effort to control the wear and tear in quality management. As a result, after our factory completed the production task of 50,000 TV sets, we assembled 1,200 genuine TV sets with the wear and tear spare parts, and the remaining components were used as repair parts. At that time, our factory had more than 1,100 employees, so the factory decided to distribute these extra televisions off the books to each employee in the factory. This incident caused a stir throughout the city. At present, we even distributed imported TV sets to each employee, and the eyes of other state-owned enterprises in Feishue City were red and red. It turned green. Later, the incident escalated to the city leaders, and the factory leaders were asked to write a review. It was only after the main leaders returned the compensation that the controversy was quelled subsequently, Zhang Xi was guided by Lu Yu to discuss the issue of corporate salaries and treasury bills. Our factory relies on the production of televisions, earning a lot of money and accumulating a lot of economic experience. However, currently, the wages of employees are regulated by the state and cannot be independently determined by the enterprise. Wage increases are proportional, and not everyone can increase them. As a result, in order to increase their wages, there is a great conflict between employees. Later on, not only did we receive the Provincial Excellent Quality Award, Three Connections, but for the first time, we also received the National Excellent, Three Connections. Our factory employees can get two levels of salary increase per year, constantly increasing year by year. The second factory has become a famous pastry in Feishui City, Zhang, has your unit been allocated to buy treasury bonds? Yes, everyone has strong opinions and is very resistant. When it comes to treasury bills, Zhang Shi has a lot of complaints. In the 1980s, due to the decentralization of reform and opening up to enterprises and local governments, the revenue of the Ministry of Finance sharply declined, resulting in a funding gap of approximately 27 billion yuan. To make up for the increased fiscal deficit caused by decentralization, the country reissued bonds in 1981. But at that time, a system of forced distribution was adopted, which deducted varying amounts of money from the wages of each ordinary person according to a percentage. Currently, treasury bills are still issued through apportionment. There is no awareness of financial management in the whole society, and no one would consider treasury bills as a financial tool. A portion of the salary received by everyone is treasury bills, which are usually locked in drawers to eat dust, only used as support for national construction. Unless there is an emergency at home, only take out the treasury bonds and sell them at a discount on the black market for monetization. Every year, the unit has to receive the task of purchasing treasury bonds, and if there is no other way, it must be forcibly allocated to each employee's salary. This treasury bond is held for a long time and cannot be circulated, which is actually equivalent to supporting national construction. Zhang Shi said that most people in the unit are resistant to treasury bonds and have low purchasing intentions. After hearing this, Lu Yu secretly felt delighted. It seemed that everyone was not very familiar with the news that treasury bills could be freely circulated and traded. Zhang Shi sighed and said, Recently, our factory has received the task of distributing new treasury bonds for the year 1988, and we also need to work on the ideological wages of employees. There is no other way, our leaders can only take the lead in buying more. Recently, in 1988, treasury bonds were newly issued with a principal repayment period of three years and an annual interest rate of 10% for individual purchases. At present, 
There are significant differences in the prices of treasury bills in the seven pilot cities of the national treasury bill transfer market, but the People's Bank of China prohibits the circulation of treasury bills among financial institutions. At present, Chinese people's understanding of finance is still quite superficial, and the issuance of treasury bonds faces numerous difficulties, requiring basic allocation before they can be sold. Zhang Shi told Lu Yu that many ordinary people in their area who were allocated to buy the 88 year new treasury bills were eager to cash them out and sold them to banks at an 80% discount. Banks generally face a shortage of funds, with some banks only having a starting capital of over 100,000 yuan to carry out treasury bill business, which can lead to financial difficulties for a while. Lu Yu was overjoyed in his heart. Undoubtedly, this is a huge opportunity. At around 6 p.m., the train arrived in Feishui City. Lu Yu and Su Jiangwo stayed at the Peace Hotel introduced by Zhang Shi, near Tianchang Road on Sanli Street of their second wireless factory. It was quiet, bright, clean, and affordable amidst the noise. After checking in at the Peace Hotel, Zhang Shi felt unhappy because he had eaten roasted chicken and old wine treated by Lu Yu on the train. He then acted as an host and invited the two of them to a nearby old man's restaurant for a meal. Zhang Shi ordered famous local delicacies such as Baogong fish, Li Hongzhang's mixed stew, Chow Chow chicken, and Sanha rice dumplings, and opened a bottle of Ingjia Gongjiu. Zhang Shi introduced that this Baogong fish is mainly made from fish produced in Baoha, using top dot notch cooking techniques, and its taste is incredibly delicious. There is a legend about Bao Gong's fish from ZhaoZhuyuan.com. It is said that when Bao Gong was managing Feishui City, he suddenly wanted to eat fish from the river one day, but the cook couldn't buy it. So, Bao Gong went to the river to catch fish himself. After catching the fish, the chef stewed a bowl of fish soup with ingredients such as tofu and scallions. After eating it, Bao Gong was very satisfied and called it Bao Gong fish. Li Hongzhang's mixed stew originated from the Guangxu period of the Qing dynasty. Legend has it that during a banquet with foreign friends, Li Hongzhang ran out of food at home and made a mixed stew from the leftover lunch. As a result, the guests all said that the taste was particularly good. This dish became famous worldwide. Sanha rice dumpling is made of local best indica rice noodles. There are shrimp, tofu, etc. inside. After frying, it is crisp outside and tender inside, and tastes delicious. These local specialty dishes have a strong aroma, making Lu Yu and Su Jiangwo both enjoy themselves. That night, the friendship between Lu Yu and Zhang Shi, the chief engineer of Feishui Radio Second Factory, also deepened. After three rounds of drinking, Zhang Shi revealed an important message to Lu Yu. The People's Bank of China Feishui branch still has 88-year treasury bills worth over 100,000 yuan that have not been distributed, and the bank is worried about this. Upon hearing these words, Lu Yu was overjoyed. The sporadic acquisition of Chinese treasury bonds from individuals is too ambitious and prone to risks. Cooperating with banks is the most secure and secure option. The next morning, Introduced by Zhang Shi, Lu Yu, and Su Jiangwo arrived at the People's Bank of China Feishui branch located in Sanlian Street. Director Yang of the Treasury Department is an old friend of Zhang Shi. When he heard that a Shanghai stock market customer came to purchase the newly issued 88-year Treasury bonds, he couldn't help but smile and warmly receive them, treating Lu Yu and Su Jiangwo as great saviors. Comrade Lu, if you sincerely want it, we will give you a 10% discount on purchases of over 10,000 yuan. 